and you've been suffocating me. You have been for years. It's like I can't breathe. You see, again, watching you listen to that clip is quite interesting. You, you're reacting. You, 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 as Phil in character there said, you've been suffocating me. Mm -hmm. You reacted there quite emotionally. Is it? You, you seem quite hurt. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Welling up a little bit. Yeah, uh, because I, I had to make that decision so quickly, so very quickly. Peggy had to make that decision. That, oh my God, I'm no good for him. I'm wrong for him. I've made him this mess. You know, and. Uh, I, I never thought I could get through that without not being strong, without crying or whatever, but I managed to. But you, yeah. but, but you genuinely got quite teary then. Yeah, I did. Um, I think about... that's listening to to Steve, and you know, because I love him so much. <laughs> Do you realise it's the first time I've gone? Is it? <laughs> Maybe the time was meant to be. That's all right. You take your time. It, yeah. It was. I mean, you mentioned there that you know Peggy, Peggy meant so much to you, and that. Yeah. Peggy, she, come. Yeah. So, well, and I think I got my little house mortgage paid, and that was down to Peggy. You know, I know people say, oh, it's hard work, but gosh, I, I've never had my own house before. You know, it's ridiculous. And I'll always eternally be grateful to EastEnders giving me that chance to pay my, play my age and show what I could do. And BBC, I thank you very, very much.